House from Dallas by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Ard Hoyt. Alice from Dallas. Alice was a spunky little cowgirl from Dallas. Every morning she put on her cowgirl hat, slipped into her cowgirl boots, and buckled on her cowgirl spurs. She was ready for a hoedown, a roundup, and a showdown. Alice wanted to be a real cowgirl. She sang cowgirl songs, she practiced using her lasso, she rode a wild pony. She even said, yippee ki -yay, when she herded her dog, Bessie, around the backyard. But Alice wasn't a real cowgirl, and she didn't live in Texas either. She was just an ordinary little girl from Dallas, Pennsylvania. Every day, Alice rode her pony, Nellie, to school, and she moseyed on down the hall with her cowgirl spurs a-jingling. Howdy, partners, she said to her classmates. Alice knew all about the Wild West, and one day in class, she acted out a cattle roundup. When she was finished, everyone stood up and clapped. I reckon I'm the only cowgirl in all of Pennsylvania, said Alice. Then one day, a new girl moved to town. Her name was Lexis, and she was from Texas. And Alice could hear the new girl's spurs jingling all the way down the hall, and when she walked into the room, her hat barely cleared the door. Alice could even smell the leather from her fancy cowgirl boots. Lexis from Texas was a real cowgirl, and Alice from Dallas was worried. That afternoon at recess, Lexus let everyone take turns riding her pony around the playground. His name is Blaze, and he's a real Shetland pony, Lexus told them. Lexus knew cowgirl sayings that Alice had never heard before, and she was great with her lasso. And by the end of the day, all of her classmates were singing the new cowgirl song that Lexus had taught them. The next morning, when Alice galloped up to school, Lexus's pony was tied to her tree. And when she walked up into the classroom, Lexus was acting out a stagecoach holdup, and all of her classmates were cheering. And when Alice went to hang up her hat, Lexus's hat was hanging on her hook. Alice took Lexus's cowgirl hat and dropped it on the floor. It's time we had a showdown, Alice told Lexus, on the playground at high noon. And when the bell rang for lunch, Alice put on her hat and buckled on her spurs and hopped on her pony. Hi-ho, Nellie, she shouted as she galloped onto the playground. Everyone was gathered in a circle, so Alice trotted around into the center. She pranced sideways, backwards, and in tight little circles. Then she galloped at full speed across the playground and jumped over the teeter-totter. Top that, said Alice, tipping her hat to Lexus as Nellie took a bow. Lexus swung her lasso over her head and let it go. It glided through the air in slow motion, dropping over the monkey bar post. And then she yanked that rope tightly and snapped it, and it quivered. Tumbling tumbleweeds, mother, muttered Alice under her breath. Alice was no match for Lexus and her lasso, so Alice started dancing. This is a little dance called the Texas Two-Step, she shouted. That's a step to the right and a clappity clap and a hop to the back and a slappity slap. One shuffle and a twirl and I'm a dancing cow girl. 
When Alice finally stopped dancing, a small cloud of dust settled around her. Cowgirl up, she told Lexus. It's your turn. So Lexus stepped into the circle and started dancing. Um, stuttered Lexus. That was a step to the left. Oh no, right and a clappity slap. Oh, I mean clap and a hop and a slappity slap and then a shuffle and a twirl and a, 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 a oh. Lexus began twirling out of control, spinning around and around until she hopped, then flopped to the ground. Ouch, she cried, and then pulled off her fancy cowgirl boot. Everyone watched as Lexus's foot got bigger and bigger. I reckon that's gonna hurt a little, said Alice. That night, Alice could not sleep. She tossed and turned on her cowgirl bed roll. She was worried about Lexus's foot. The next day, Lexus's pony was not tied up to the tree. Her hat wasn't hanging on the hook either. Alice listened for the sound of her spurs come down the hall, but Lexus never appeared. Alice wanted to see Lexus. She needed to know that she was alright, so she decided to go for a visit. Whoa, Nellie, Alice shouted as they got into her house. When Lexus opened the door, Alice was happy to see her. She looked as pretty as a wagon, and her foot was much better, too. I'm sorry, said Alice. It was all my fault. I was such a show-off at the showdown. Oh, horse feather, said Lexus. You're a darn tootin' good dancer. Alice had to admit she was a pretty good dancer, but she was not a very good with a lasso. I'll teach you how to lasso, said Lexus, if you teach me how to dance. Deal? Deal, said Alice. But first, let's ride, cowgirl. Alice reckoned that there was room for more than one cowgirl in Pennsylvania. So she and Lexus hopped into their, onto their ponies and trotted down the trail. Alice learned a lot about Lexus that afternoon, and she learned that she liked campfires and hoot nannies, and she learned that she was afraid of rattlesnakes and tumbleweeds. She learned that her great-great-grandfather was an outlaw. She learned that she liked to sleep out under the stars. But the biggest thing that Alice learned about Lexus that afternoon was that Lexus wasn't a real cowgirl. In fact, she was just an ordinary little girl. From Texas, Indiana. The end.